The way that we teach clinical history taking at Warwick Medical School is to use the four frames. And the four frames are a logical way to take a comprehensive history and not miss anything out at all. So the first frame is a presenting complaint and the history of presenting complaint and the systems review and the red flags. So we encourage our students to ask an open question so they can start eliciting the symptoms from the patient. Then we would click into one system. What I mean by that is that if somebody has chest pain, for example, then you would clearly need to ask about all the cardiac symptoms once you've had got a lot of detail about the patient's pain using a mnemonic such as SQUITAS, which is sight, quality, intensity, timing, aggravating factors, relieving factors, and associated symptoms. I think then it's very important to ask about other systems. So we would do a systems review and then finish off by recapping the red flags. That is, for example, blood anywhere, lumps and bumps anywhere, weight loss, change in appetite, change in bowel habit. The next frame could be the past medical history. We'd ask about operations, any other significant uh, serious conditions. They would ask about the drugs because they would often be related to the past medical history. And they would ask about over-the-counter drugs as well and also check on recreational drugs. We would then move on to check allergies and food intolerances. With respect to allergies, it's very important to ascertain whether the patient has any allergies such as to penicillin and what the nature of that allergy or reaction is. The third frame is a social history. So we'd explore the patient's social history, we'd find out how these patient's symptoms and conditions are impacting on the patient's life uh, and occupation. We'd also need to inquire about smoking, alcohol, home circumstances uh, as well, uh, and occupational uh, factors. We would also then need to move on to the family history, particularly in relation to the presenting complaint and other serious conditions that could run in the family, such as cardiovascular disease, uh, hypertension, or diabetes, or even asthma. The final frame is to explore the patient's values. Why is the patient worried about their condition? So there, we would need to explore the patient's ideas about what they think is going on, what concerns them most, and also to ask them about their expectations of how we can best help the patient. Then there should be an opportunity at the end to let the patient ask you further questions, but also if there's any bits of information that they would like to give you. Then usually at the end, it's a good idea to recap the main features of the history back to the patient just to check that you've got all the main facts. And then you could move on to uh, a discussion about the management, which would include an explanation of what's going on, investigations, uh, and follow-up.